We are live. It is uh, the Blab.im representation of the WWE Raw wrap up here, and I'm getting. Thank you for all the all the applause there, Mike, uh, on my face. You can't see this if you're on video or anything after the fact. That's why you need to join us here live. We're shortly after Monday Night Raw. Just check the at Mayhem Show Twitter account. That's usually where we're posting this thing, and you can check it out, of course, over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com with a lot of fun stuff. Check out our friends at IndieWrestling.us, SliceOnBroadway.com, and so much more. With me, I, of course, I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And with me from Poughkeepsie, New York, is Mad Mike. But I don't know what to do with those Toss Wyatt and Scrambled Braze. They're calling again. Do, do. Good night, Rose of Destruction. Good night, London. And that ends our show. Okay. Yeah. And also with us, also from the outer skirts of the Pittsburgh PA, uh, fresh off of Extra Life this past week. No. I'm about to get this. No, you weren't part of that one? Well, I was a little bit part of it. I didn't a little bit part of that one, but about to be disappeared. Yeah. But you're uh, you're going into Fallout uh, Four hiber- Hibernation shortly too, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did somebody like, say I'm I'm, I'm going I'm going to be uh, very very honest with you, Sorg. If I don't make the shows for the next few weeks or months, it's because I haven't watched wrestling. It's because I've played Fallout Four a lot. I see. I see. I understand no, 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 that. You, you, you do not understand that sword. Oh, I'm sure I got a pretty good idea. Do you? Do you? Do no. You? Maybe. Do I? Do, do you? I? Do I? <laughs> anyway, let's, let's talk, talk about, about pro wrestling. Okay, of course. Uh, pretty crazy <laughs> raw tonight. The raw that nobody planned. It is the uh, raw that was the recovery mode for what happened with Seth Rollins uh, last week, uh, getting an injury. So therefore, everything is under. Um, everything is under a, a, a tournament right now. Uh, Vankant, now a dual title holder with the TNA and the WWE Championships. Nah, um, and, so, or, so, and Triple A. He, he's a triple title holder. Oh, he's a triple threat title holder. Man, look out, Matt Cross. Uh, but anyways, okay, let's go into this. So obviously we had to kind of throw together a tournament here. It, it's going to be over the next couple of weeks of Raw. Leading into the last uh, several, probably, probably I think by my count, maybe three matches yeah. at Survivor Series itself. That, okay, that's cool. Uh, what do you think of the lineup and the matches we've gotten out of the tournament so far? Um, I'm I'm excited for Kalisto and Ryback on SmackDown. <laughs> we're like, I, I think we're all un like we shouldn't be this excited for Ryback and Kalisto. <laughs> like, like I am Daniel. I'm Dan Hooven's level of excitement right now. Um, Dan Hooven excitement, yeah. I, I'm not excited for that match. I'm excited for what happens. If Kalisto wins that match, I'll be excited for what follows. Which would but be? Del Rio either, versus it, it, Kalisto. Yeah, either Del Rio versus Kalisto or Sardos versus Kalisto. Either Del one Rio of those, I'm okay. Kalisto. Yeah, Del, Del Rio versus Kalisto. I mean, we're... <laughs> I mean, who knows? Cesaro could shock the world next week, and we could have Cesaro versus Stardust. That's the same. I could final. see that. Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. Yeah, w- w- such a weird matchup. Stardust and Del Rio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For... I don't know. It... <laughs> what are we this whole that? tournament is weird. But like, that's good. But it's a tournament. It's random matches. It's not just like, well, obviously the good guy's going to win this. We have Cesaro and Rollins next, or uh, Reigns next week. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be fun but it's if you're a cesaro fan it's just gonna be so sad they suggested it and 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 the way more i look at the tournament it could end up ambrose and rollins for the belt reigns ambrose and reigns damn it It, well no it's designed to end up ambrose versus reigns which Mm -hmm. means it's probably not going to i hope so i hope it does i think there's gonna be a wild card thrown in there somewhere i i hope it doesn't end up that i want to see something fresh when have you seen Reigns versus Ambrose? I've seen both of them in the title scene more often than not this year. That's true. That is true. Okay, but okay. Like, let, let's, you let's, Cesaro let's do, versus Owens. I feel like we're going to get more into this tomorrow, but 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 what? Do, okay, Cesaro Owens, you're not getting up. So I know. Reigns is in there. Or fuck, Just, Kalisto, uh, Kalisto and Breeze for a WWE title. Kalisto why not? For WWE title. Why not? <laughs> I can think of several reasons why not. Riz, wh- who would you think uh, out of the playing field uh, so far, what would you have liked to see um, as the final two? As the final two, I'd like to see... I, I go with Breeze on this one, uh, but he's not in it anymore. 
so I would like to see. Oh man, there's so many. Like just to see the spot fest that comes up with it, Ziggler and Kalisto. Oh, it'd be so amazing. Just, just so like amazing. the fast paced. Give me a semi title match or semi final match on that one. <laughs> yeah, like know? just an intercontinental title match. Just put them in an intercontinental title. But like I said uh, on on the Twitters, um, this gives Cesaro the belt. This is this for today. He had a really good today. showing. I this mean, they were in England. It was it was pretty fantastic. We had our 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 UK celebrity action going on around there. I mean, it, I mean, his match was one of the best ones of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Even Sheamus. Mm-hmm. I mean, and Sheamus is one that we've yawned at for how long, right? I can, I can, uh, I can watch Sheamus and uh, Cesaro beat the crap out of each other for a few times. Oh yeah. Well, oh, as yeah. long as Sheamus isn't wrestling Randy Orton, his matches are very watchable. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Sheamus is real good. All right, so so this is a tournament. Well, I'm sure we're going to talk a little more at length. I think I w- want to talk a uh, roster depth and and those kinds of conversations that have been going mm-hmm. around this week on the internet uh, in regards to this and how this has been handled. But um, okay, let's let's roll to uh, my favorite subject: the ladies. Hmm. Yeah. Um, women's wrestling has just just captured my mind lately, uh, both locally and nationally, and uh, and and I, I think. You know, again, it, you know, we had a couple good matches. Um, Paige Becky, I thought was pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Fish Two says Paige. What's that? Mr. Yes, Fish Page. Two Paige. Page. And I actually got a, I got actually, we actually got a comment on Wrestling Mayhem Show because I had posted the Paige Periscope from her Q and A here in uh, at Wizard World, and there was there was and uh, yeah, they're they're mm-hmm. they're. We're getting a lot of reaction for Paige lately, um, yeah. I, I, and I think it's great. And I think I think uh, like her, between her promo, her scathing promo this 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 evening, um, I think it's uh, I think it's tremendous. I I, I think uh, there's good stuff there. Plus, we have this side thing with Natalie trying to Nat- break up. Natty trying to break up Team Bad. You know, Nat- I mean, I, which which we saw play out with ha, Tamina wrestled on SmackDown, guys. Um, but no, I, Sorg, I thought you wanted to get me to watch SmackDown. <laughs> they had a good match. I thought they had a very good match. You stay, you stay for the Kalisto versus Ryback match. You come for Kalisto, yeah. you stay for Tamina. There you go. There you go. First Polynesian female wrestler I learned on the table for three this week. Um, but anyways. <laughs> wow, that's, that a, that's a weird stat. That's what came out. But anyways, it's yeah. worth it's worth checking out. But uh, no, I think the women's wrestling still representing, and now we're getting to the point where I, I thought they, I thought we had great great matches on, on on both sides here. And and you can tell they're starting to break apart the teams, right? You you can tell like Sasha's team bad, leaving. yeah, Sasha's, Sasha's leaving, leaving, leaving somewhere down the road, or getting attacked or jumped or whatever by Tamina and Naomi. You can tell that that's going to happen. You can tell. The crowd is getting behind Team Bad, and and you can even see that there's no sign of any of the Bellas. No, I think I think Nikki's officially off, and 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 mm-hmm. Brie is kind of just kind of background right now, right? Brie is just there, and and Alicia Fox is poor Alicia Fox. Point. Poor Alicia. Fox. Yeah, I, I, seriously, I'm, she deserves better. She's she a she's a former Divas champion. She deserves a lot better. Certainly. And wait, didn't she hold the belt for like a like a day, or a week or something? Uh, probably a little longer than that. Probably a decent yeah. amount when like yeah. nobody was looking, basically. Um, but uh, no, I I think uh, yeah, I, I, but it's still I think even with the people that are getting left behind and people are going to get left behind for the new hotness, and I think I think the. The, the breaking up and now Bailey the NXT TV champion uh, mentioned here in the uh, in the blab chat room uh, mm-hmm. it, which was representing very well there mm-hmm. uh, but I think you break those girls up like you're mentioning and we we have a very holy crap competitive uh, divas division like what's kind of happened on the tag side right now mm-hmm. there is a tag team revolution going you cannot on. I, I think we've been I feel like we've been saying for several years but this is the next version of it you you have you have 
the consummate heels in, in, in New Day, and everybody's trying to knock them down, knock them down. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm ready for another go round of Usos and, and New Day in mm-hmm. this iteration. The, but the best it, part of Raw during the entire night, during most of Raw, most of every week on Raw, is when a new, new day comes out. Yep, yep. It's the thing you look forward to for the verbals, and that, that usually isn't the case. They, they do have to worry about pushing more than two teams at a time, though. Because we have other teams. They ju- there just needs to be, like, maybe a separate... Like, I know how we always say that there should be one Divas feud surrounding the title and one Divas undercard feud. Right. The same should be said with the tag teams. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. And unfortunately, there's not enough bandwidth, I guess, in writing, maybe, for that to happen. You, it you, know, be will be the, right. you know what will be the easiest thing for them to do? Hmm. I mean, I'm not sure exactly how it would work, but you already have Stardust with the Ascension doing the Stardust section. If they all attack Cesaro, Cesaro could be like, oh, well, I need to find like minded people. Bring in the United Kingdom. Mm, I don't think United Kingdom, but I think, I, you know what? I was just talking with you, and I know we're on Blab, but I just completely tried to switch the show. Like it was Tuesday night. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm hitting buttons on the keyboard and wondering why my screen isn't changing. Oh, that, that's, why, that's why we have. Yep, that's why we have a whole bunch of. Those things. don't know. We do a full kind of production with Wirecast and everything, and I'm live switching, and, and I'm not doing that tonight. I don't know why. I just went into that mode. Wrestling, Sorg. Wrestling. Anyways, sorry Wrestling. about that. Uh, but no, I, I, I know I agree with you, and I think they are doing stuff, and I think, uh, again, if you watch your seven hours of wrestling every week like a good WWE fanboy, good Mike, boy. you'll see a little bit of that developing on Superstars and Main Event. Excuse but me, let's be Sorg. Honest. But let's be I... honest. You're too busy watching the pinnacle of professional wrestling of Lucha Underground reruns, <laughs> Ring of Honor, and Impact Wrestling. Uh, so... And NXT. No, let's, no, let's, no, let's not forget an... NXT and Breaking Ground and Table for Three. <laughs> There's sort I'm watching a lot of wrestling. And you're going to be watching. I cannot fun. watch SmackDown. It's Undertaker Week. It. It's Undertaker Week on WWE Network. SmackDown can't happen. No, that, and I think you should. I think you'd find SmackDown very mm-hmm. enjoyable. But no, yeah, main event superstars. Holy crap, you know. And then, and I've I, I've broken that down. I think that should be a, a discussion for another show. All right, let's talk about the big one. Hey. Undertaker, what's up, pal, with your powers and your buddy and your brother? Uh, you're here. Um, I'm loving it. It's uh, You kind of knew where it was going to go. I think if you've uh, watched Undertaker for 25 years, you kind of figured out where this is going. And I see some squirming on Mike's side. Let yeah. me just say real quick, I'm a fan as an old school Undertaker fan of everything that happened tonight. But I think, Mike, is my guess right that your, your, your kind of hang-up is going is to be that now what do we do for Survivor Series? All right, not only that, because mm-hmm. Taker and Kane just beat up the entire Wyatt family by themselves. Right. Um, why is it that when the Wyatts kidnap someone, they don't keep them where listen, they're kidnapped? Listen, there is the fifth unknown Wyatt Um um, named uh, Chevy White. He is the one that is the default because when they have to go do their big promos at, at Raw in, in England, uh, down in the bayou, uh, they leave Chevy behind. Sorg, Sorg. He's the one watching them. Sorg, and he's you the one leave ZZ out of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wyatt is definitely the. Or ZZ you, definitely you, the you just invoked the name of ZZ by calling him Chubby Wyatt. You realize I said that. Chevy, Chevy oh, Wyatt. Oh, I thought you said Chubby Wyatt. Chubby like, Wyatt. like, like he's the he- like he's the heavy guy that they leave behind. And Bray's like, oh, it's now Chubby. Chubby. It's now Chevy. Chubby. Wyatt. We got. We I like Kane and Kane locked up, man. <laughs> it's a ve- it's a bamboo cage, man. You don't want to let him go. We got and, we and, got ch- and, and, and take and take her just like like I like to call it wait, wait, stakes, wait, Adam. I like to call it the Punjabi prison. <laughs> and now Riz is back in the conversation. <laughs> I, I am back. I'm back in this like, conversation now. Wait. Anyways, but no, and and they and they escape. Escape! Um, we could have had but, something fun with someone rescuing them. No, 
<laughs> we could have had that sword. We could have had the the kind of like the. We could have the... had the um the the Leslie Nielsen thing. Yes, where they look. No, for we could have Green Cane. Well, all right, not Leslie Nielsen, but Steve Carell. Come on, yeah. I love yeah. that. See, uh, but... or 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 sword, 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 sword. The Arrow and Arsenal. Save the Undertaker and Kane We're with John going... Constantine's help, and Taker and Kane get their souls back. Or just yes, oh, yes, man. All the fan C W tie-in Sorg. The fan fictions between what you just described and a torn shirt on Ambrose that that started tonight. There's our Legends of Tomorrow that, Sorg. Legends of Tomorrow. Legends you know, tomorrow. you know, there's some sort of freaky fan fiction going out right now. I, I just oh, wrote one. Are you kidding me? Arrow, Constantine, um, Taker, and Kane versus the Wyatt family. And Ambrose. With, so, Chubby Wyatt at ringside. And Ambrose with the torn shirt just yeah, for the I have, I have little to no pro- a little problem with Taker and Kane coming back with no like reasoning. Uh, it, it, it's mainly because... It was more of a, oh, they're just back. When you know they were kidnapped, you know they stole their powers like... Uh, like Mega Man. Like Mega Man, or... <laughs> my, my my version was uh, the Monstars and Space Jam. That too. Yeah. Um, but You got, got Kane Firebuster. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> My clothes hoping, don't fit. I, I was that, just hoping that, that they dumb. would, like... For at least a week or two, be well, you under. Can't have some... it be a week or two because Survivor Series is in two weeks. Yeah, I know. Just be under some sort of spell. You want like you want zombified I wanted, Kane I wanted... and Taker coming out yes. like like fetching them coffee. No, not just not that. Just you know. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that... So I turned them into interns, basically. Yes. Intern Kane. Intern Kane. Corporate Kane to intern Kane. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. But um, I think they, tr- truly hell is just getting coffee for the devil. Sorg, right. when we were in the hangout, um, we did put forth a different setup when we saw Taker and Kane walking out. Okay, because the camera angles on them were a little weird. So we thought for a split second we were proven wrong immediately that the guys walking out as Taker and mm-hmm. Kane were actually Harper with his hair pulled back and Strowman with the mask on. Okay. Because they looked a little different under the black lights and everything. So we were like, oh my god, did they just turn Harper and Strowman into Taker it's, and Kane? Because that would be awesome too. It's just something. It's just, just jet lag. Just time. Something. We need uh, something. J- just I, and, and the reason why I'm not more upset about this, and I think, I think it's the main reason why, is because I didn't see this going into a summer like a Survivor Series style match. Like, I see yeah. it more of a match. Just, just, like, just wide and taker. You think some, again? Something like that with the added twist of some stipulation that the Undertaker is known for. It, yeah, I could just roll into a casket match. Like casket kind of match, like, buried alive. The match. double casket match. No, no, no. If, no, if they're no. going to do anything with because then match, you'd have to roll people into caskets at the same time. If, if they're going to if they're going to do a, a tag match, it's going to be buried li- buried alive. It ends with with uh, two of the Wyatt's getting choke slammed in the caskets at the same. I, time. But can't can't we agree that Taker is buried Bray enough? Oh <laughs> no, I but think um, no, I think I think Bray is exactly what he needs to be mm-hmm. right now, and I think it's I, I think it's pretty good. So, but anyways, I, anyways. Just, I just wish there was a reason. I just wish there was a reason. That's all. A reason like, for what? A reason that they're back. Bray's been saying for weeks that he's had them kidnapped. He's and all locked. powerful. He's the Undertaker. You can't stop hell. No, he, no, no, no. I don't that. accept that. I don't accept that. When you show all the video packages showing Taker literally rising out of caskets with silhouettes, and you show him coming out of caskets that are burning alive. For- should, okay, okay, okay. I'm with you. Wait, wait, wait. Well, let's, let's take that back a moment. So Taker shouldn't just walk out. Taker needs to, like they showed, burning casket entrance. Uh-huh. I'm with you. 
Show a reason. Okay. Just show a reason. It's That's all you need to I'm do. Not say, I'm not going to say burning cask is a reason. But no, here, here's, here's it's a device instead of just a standard entrance. The the one thing I don't I didn't get with that as well with, with the statement he just made it, it made me think of this is during his speech Bray Wyatt said he burned Kane and the Undertaker to ashes. Mm-hmm. I just wish, words, man. Just yeah, words. it was just words. Wish they were real though. I mean, even if even if they showed like a just a video of him doing that, and then they say, "Oh, like a phoenix, Taker and Kane have risen from the ashes." Listen, That's it. Been or like, or, or, like the, or like Shredder at the end of Ninja Turtles, just sticking their hands up out of graves. It should have been vignettes with them tied up, and it should have been Bray Wyatt's White Castle of Doom. Okay, it, mm-hmm. oh, man, I, I, I I had a. Had a horrible, horrible with, image there, Sorg. With Chubby Wyatt, because because <laughs> I was I was picturing Buying some sliders. I, I was uh, picturing but anyways, Bob there, guys. The, it's been Bill. fun. That was raw. We're gonna do this again tomorrow night. WrestlingMayhemShow.com, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can join us here live. We'll have a few wrestlers actually in studio with oh. us. Oh. What? Yes. One Fleck and Serafini here locally will be joining us to uh, talk to wrestling with us. Yeah, wrestling. And tomorrow night, we're going to have uh, Everett Connors uh, joining us to talk about uh, about being trained by Michael Elgin. And uh, this weekend's hmm. a St. Louis Anarchy event and more. That's at the Indie Wrestling uh, Mayhem Show. That's going to be 11 p.m. Eastern at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Please check out everybody. I'm at Sorgatron. This is at Mad Mike and 4883 in the Poughkeepsie, New York. This is at DE Riz and also Riz plays games on the Twitter and also writing for insertcointobegin.com. Thanks, everybody, for joining me here. We'll see you guys next time.